We haven't talked about the Ace family in a while. They aren't really posting that much on YouTube anymore, so the last time we heard from them was when they posted this video. In this video, Austin tried to say that the whole reason he lost that fight with Gib last year was because he had COVID. He completely blamed the loss on COVID and announced he would be going up against Gib once again. Well, that fight happened over the weekend, and not only did no one care, but the outcome wasn't much better. It's a mess, so let's get into it. A few months ago, Austin McBroom came out and blamed his loss to Gib on COVID. He said he knew he was sick, he wasn't feeling well, and to top it all off, he had an IV administered to him when it's apparently not allowed. Once he was taken to the hospital, it was confirmed he had COVID. A lot of people felt like Austin should have kept that information to himself and just accepted his loss without trying to diminish Gibbs win. Tons of people were saying like, you knew you were sick, you still fought knowing you were sick, you put tons of people at risk, we really don't feel bad for you. At the end of this video, Austin ended up announcing that he was planning on fighting again. Last thing I wanna say is my last fight, I did it for you guys. There were so many people that were trying to convince me not to fight that night but I couldn't let you guys down. I really did it for you guys. But my next fight, I'm doing it for myself. And Gib, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Well, Austin got his second chance this weekend. And first, let me just say, I heard nothing about this fight. I didn't even know it was happening until it was already over. There was hardly any promo for it. No one was talking about it. The only way you may have known that a fight was even planned was because Austin was posting a countdown over on his Instagram, but that's about it. The top comments under almost all of his promo pictures were all people saying things like, nobody is watching this. The fact that no one's been talking about this. Now we knew from the last fight that Catherine really didn't want Austin fighting. She's talked about how much she hates Austin boxing. She's made it more than clear that it gives her a lot of anxiety and really upsets her. Last year, she even did this whole prank on Austin, saying she was gonna leave him if he chose to continue fighting. And Catherine's feelings towards Austin boxing haven't changed. She got on her Snapchat during Austin's fight this past weekend, and she was extremely emotional. I feel like this is the first time that we've seen true emotions from Catherine that aren't just put on for her vlog. You could tell that she was really upset and honestly, mad at Austin for choosing to continue down this path. I just have to go through. And I don't want to cry because I don't want people to... F I don't even know what you guys are going to say. I don't really care, honestly. I'm just... I just want to be me and I just want to like share how I feel. So how I'm feeling is really sad right now because I'm not physically there. Even though I'm like telepathically communicating with him at all times and I feel like I'm there for him. I'm just, I just don't want to spend any more energy on this because it's just so hard. Like no one wants to see someone get in the ring. It's so terrible. Like I went to an event a couple weeks ago because he really wanted to go in Vegas and I couldn't even watch that. It was so hard to watch. Like... <sighs> I don't like it. I don't like this. But, like, I get that, you know, like, Austin already won in life. Like, he has healthy parents. They're still alive. They're still here. He has kids that love him, that have unconditional love for him. He has a wife that adores him, that supports him through all seasons. He has good friends. He has a roof over his head. He has food. He has water that he needs. But yet, this, this thing is, like, his own personal, like, his own personal thing for, like, his, like... I don't even know like it's his own curiosity for his development like it's something that he has to go through so and i just have to obviously support him it's karmic it's like, this whole so calm even for me like this is actually really the whole boxing thing is so karmic for me like what the fuck? <laughs> like how humans are like low-key dumb like what are we doing to ourselves like, this is so stupid what is this even like i get it's teaching me lessons but damn like i feel like i've learned enough lessons in my life like what the hell is this like, getting in a ring and fighting each other like how stupid is that think about it like it's so stupid <laughs> it's so dumb like what are we doing gosh like i get there's a science formula to it like okay it's like like i'm trying to see like the quantumness of it and like sacred geometry of it but it's like um I'm kind of missing it on this one. 
So, oh, by the way, I'm not watching the fight. I'm going to stay in my car while the fight's on. And then I'll have my brother tell me the news because I can't even. And I feel like a lot of the things that Catherine was saying here are very true. Austin is extremely lucky. He has a channel that's made him a ton of money. He has a house. He has a family and kids. One wrong move or hit could end his life. So I think Catherine has every right to be upset. I don't know why Austin is so obsessed with proving he can beat Gibb and proving he's also a YouTuber turned boxer. I really don't think Austin was cut out for boxing and that was made more than clear this past fight. Austin went up against Gibb last weekend and just like last time, he ended up losing. Austin McBroom just lost again to Gibb in a fight. The two just had a rematch in London and it was ugly. It ended with McBroom screaming in pain and apparently breaking his ankle. I really don't know what happened, but it looks like Austin started to take a step back at one point and was kind of limping on his leg and the ref ended up calling the fight. It was later reported that Austin apparently broke his ankle. One article says, the official time of the stoppage was 2.15 of the third round. According to the broadcast, McBroom's corner said that the fighter suffered from a broken ankle. But a lot of people aren't buying the whole broken ankle thing and they think it's more excuses. We had people writing, so he didn't learn his lesson from last time. He got COVID again mid fight. Honestly, it looked like a fake injury for a quick payday. Stick to being a dad, please. Stop embarrassing your family. At this point, I really just feel like boxing isn't for Austin. He had his second chance with Gibb, it didn't work out. Catherine clearly hates him boxing and wants him to stop. I just don't know what he's trying to prove here. Austin's one of those people who just doesn't know when to take a step back and he'll just keep going until he either hurts himself or until he finally proves whatever he's trying to prove. I also feel like a lot of people are just kind of over YouTube boxing in general. Every year there seems to be less and less talk whenever some YouTuber decides to fight. But this fight with Austin and Gibb was literally dead. I didn't hear one thing about it. No one was talking about it or excited about it. Austin didn't promote it the way he normally does. I wonder if this will finally be a wake up call for him to move on and leave boxing behind. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. Did you guys even hear anything about this fight or were you just as shocked as I was? Also, do you think Austin will finally walk away from boxing or do you think he's going to stick with it until he finally wins? Let me know and I'll see you next time.